It's been quite a while since the last time we saw Warren Beatty in front of and behind the camera on the big screen. Uh, it was uh, 98's Bullworth and uh, 2001's um, Town & Country uh, was the last time we saw him in action. Uh, Warren Beatty returns with his uh, film Rules Don't Apply, which has been a passion project of his as he's been trying to do a Howard Hughes film for quite some time. And he has the misfortune of following Scorsese's The Aviator, which feels like the quintessential be-all, end-all of uh, Howard Hughes biopics. Um, and that certainly does taint the film itself, because obviously um, we already have in mind just what exactly uh, Scorsese presented the, uh, for Howard Hughes and what he went through. So uh, what Beatty's uh, film is not necessarily a true story, but... Uh, basically looks at uh, Hollywood in the uh, 60s, 50s and 60s, and uh, the, the fascination with Hughes himself, and um, how Hollywood took him in, and how uh, people perceived him. In many ways, this only reflects what goes on today nowadays. Uh, the film follows two, uh, two people, a uh, young aspiring actress and a driver, and uh, they are both employed by Howard Hughes. And as the film unfolds, uh, relationships and bonds are formed, friendships uh, and uh, enemies and, uh, and uh, business deals and uh, conspiracies and, uh, and uh, humor are plenty to be found in this film. However, the problem is that overall the film lacks any real punch or emotional connection. Uh, the film only comes alive when Beatty is on screen as Harry Hughes, and in that, those cases, it, it, it earns its humor from, from Hughes' eccentricity, uh, eccentricity, <laughs> uh, and, uh, his, uh, character quirks and all of his, uh, strange demands that actually come off kind of funny. Um... But just the rest of the film itself, the characters, uh, the film is populated by a who's who you know, in Hollywood, from Arthur, Matthew Broderick to Amy Madigan, Ed Harris, Candace Bergman, uh, Martin Sheen, Paul Servino, um, and the list goes on and on. And it's just um, the relationships that develop between some of these characters, the they don't seem to be ring true. Like you get the sense that these these people falling in love, or or the um, you do get the sense of of, of, a, of a deep seated friendship between, uh, say, uh, Broderick's character and uh, Beatty's character, but um, the you don't get the sense of the trust that develops between. Uh, uh, Frank and uh, and Howard Hughes. Um, it almost seems arbitrary uh, in service of the story. It's like, oh, okay, he likes this guy. But um, it's just the, the, I guess it's just too many years too late for this film. And um, I mean, it's a great, it's, it's, it's well directed and all. The, the performances are good. It's just that the story itself is not as as engaging as you would hope. Um, there is some humor here and there, but and some of it uh, uh, is attributed to the fact is like, oh my God, that's so-and-so. It's like, hey, that's so-and-so. What's he doing in this? And um, and another issue I have with the movie, it is rather choppy. The way that it's edited, it's just jumping around all over, all over the place, even though it it's, essentially is moving in a linear fashion. It's just that the, the time jumps and the way it's jumping around from mo moment to moment, it's just like... Uh, is uh, disconcerting because you're like it's getting convoluted. Like, uh, what's going on here? Like, uh, there was one scene where he's, uh, I guess he's trying to be stylistic, where he's cutting between three characters that I assume were meant to believe was at this very same moment, but then no, we were getting that this is over a period of time. They're going through the same routine, and it, it kind of got lost on me. Uh, but. Yeah, it's like I was looking forward to it. Rules Don't Apply, and uh, I mean, I'm a fan of babies. But um, yeah, the movie just didn't seem to work all that well. 
in comparison to his other films. It's probably my least favorite film that he's directed. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say it. It is my least favorite film that he's directed. And um, yeah, it's rather unfortunate. But I would have to give uh, Rules Don't Apply two stars out of five. A real uh, disappointing film that unfortunately features an all-star cast. Uh, and uh, I just wish it was uh, better put together and, um, and executed. So two stars out of five. So if you like this review, hit that like button below. Have you heard about Rules Don't Apply? Uh, you're a fan of Warren Beatty's. Uh, have you heard about this, uh, this Howard Hughes project that he's been wanting to work on for so long? Uh, please comment below and let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so you can stay on top of my new reviews, retro reviews, trailer reactions, and any other fun things I happen to put on my channel. And also, if you are subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit that bell button right next to the, describe, uh, the subscribe button. That way you can uh, be notified as to when I post any new content on my channel, and you'll be in the loop. So until next time, my friends, we'll see you at the movie.